All right, so let's take a look at this input here. And what we're going to do is we're going to add in just the input. We're going to actually get rid of this paragraph tag. So I'm just going to go and I'm going to take a look at that here. And then instead of the type date here, we're going to type submit. Okay, and look at that. We have this nice submit button here. And the name will be submit. And what some people like to do is they like to add in the name and the kind of item that they, they have in first. So for instance, we have a button, so they abbreviate it BTN, and then they go submit. Okay, and that kind of, uh, that, that kind of nomenclature with, the, with your HTML and with any coding is actually really good because imagine if you had, let's say, 50 submit buttons, you know, you could all organize them alphabetically if you use this method. Now the next thing we need to do here is, for instance, if we wanted to add in an ID. Now an ID is something that you attach to a specific, a very specific tag. So I'm going to call this JS submit. And what that's going to do is that when we wanted to, let's say, do something with that submit button, we could go and add it in and use it in JavaScript. Now again, the way, the best analogy I have for HTML, CSS, and JavaScript is that in HTML, you set up the, the building blocks. In CSS, you make it look good. In JavaScript, you add in the functionality. So this JS submit will allow you in the JavaScript portion to do something with that submit. So what could you do with that submit? Well, let's add maybe in a paragraph and we'll say something like input. Okay. And within this input, we'll have an, another input and we'll say type is equal to text and the name is equal to, well, input. And there you go. And we'll close off this paragraph tag as well. Okay, and you can see here that if you wanted to have these both on the same line, you could always put the paragraph tag all the way at the end. So let's say you wanted to type your name in here like this, and you push submit. That submit would do something, and you know maybe send your name in for, to win some money or or something like that here. Okay, so that's how you add in a submit button.